So in this case, we already pre-computed all the results of accuracy for the two different folds and also both features and both parameter values m equals 1 and m equals minus 1. And our task now is to um, select the best parameter and feature for the fold 1. So typically you would do this with a training test or validation set and here we're doing it on two folds. And something we're just doing is we're determining our um, parameter or sorry our uh, value for m uh, equals 1 or equals minus 1 and also our feature selection on the one fold, fold 1, and then check whether this actually aligns with fold 2. And yeah, if the folds are um, randomly chosen and have the same distribution and so on, then we would expect to get some kind of an idea of how well our method generalizes across examples. So let's do that here. Let's see for fold one which one of those accuracies is actually the best. Well, it's the one over here. So we have our selection. We choose P1 as our um, feature and we choose M equals 1 as our model. And if you remember, this looked something like this. So how well does this actually perform on fold 2? Well, if we have a look at this choice over here and our results on fold 2, then we can see that this is actually not very good. This is not a good result compared to what we got in fold 1 and also compared to what would be possible on fold 2. So in the end, this means that this is not a good method that we applied, that our model function over here doesn't really generalize across examples, even if it perfectly fits on uh, fold one, and we will later um, see this yeah, happening again, and we will then call this overfitting in this case.